back in the worldwide arena. And Bam Bam Bigelow is in the house. Mike, he looks bigger than ever. Scott Hudson, the beast from the east, Bam Bam Bigelow, nearing the 400 pound mark, and he is certainly going to have a sizable weight and power advantage over his opponent this week in this worldwide exclusive when he goes one on one with Staten Island's own Big Vito. I don't think Bam Bam would appreciate being called a 400 pound mark. What? I said he was nearing the 400 pound mark. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. The beast is in the house. And he does not look happy. That is not a good thing. Never a good thing when the beast from the east, Bam Bam Bigelow, has his game face on. And he certainly does because he knows that it's time to go to war with Big Vito. Big Vito currently embroiled in a bitter blood feud with his brother Reno. Reno fresh out of the joint trying to worm his way back into the family La Familia. Certainly, we saw his true color. Yeah, we certainly did, and maybe the shortest lived tag team in WCW history when the two brothers, Big Vito and Reno, were together at Starcade. What did it last? One match? Not, not, even, not even, even that. Not even one match. But you know that Staten Island blood is boiling. Inside the Pison, Big Vito and Bam Bam Bigelow looks nonplussed and unimpressed by the current situation involving Big Vito. All he sees is a target. Yeah, I'm certainly interested in seeing what type of offensive attack that Big Vito has in mind. What strategy, what kind of a game plan is he going to employ against the much larger man when he looks across the ring at Bam Bam Bigelow? What a force Bigelow is. Both men trying to work their way back into title contention and back up the ranks of WCW. Super Brawl Revenge coming up next month on pay-per-view. These men would love to be a part of the extravaganza. Well, you're right when you talk about moving up that ladder of success in WCW. A victory in this exclusive worldwide matchup is going to go a long way for one of these two individuals to work their way up that WCW talent roster and probably into contention for title shots. Well, what we're seeing right now are two men trying to psych each other out. Mind games is what it is between these two. And I don't think uh, either one of these guys, uh, let's say, did too well in school. They're brawlers. They're fighters. Yeah, I don't think we have any 4.0 students between Bam Bam Bigelow or Big Vito. Not hardly. Arm ringer to an arm bar reversal. Now arm bar by Big Vito up into the top wrist lock. Oh, wrenching in deep on the beast. Yeah, but when it comes to wrestling knowledge, they are A+. plus. Arm bar that time applied by Vito. Smart move by Bigelow. A little weary here in the early going. Bigelow testing him using the top ring rope for the break and back to the basics with the side headlock by Vito. Bigelow, the former hardcore champion. Vito, former hardcore oh. champion himself and what a shoulder block. Down goes Vito, down goes Vito one more time. Bam Bam says, it's too easy. Almost, Step over. You see that almost non close oh. He didn't see that drop toe hold that came out of nowhere. Did you see the ropes almost oh. give? Whoa, from deep underneath with the right hand. Big Vito. Sets him up, measures him, levels him with the clothesline. Well, the first two shots rocked Bigelow, and then it was the running lariat springing off the ropes that took the big man down. And yes, Bigelow rolls out to the floor to slow down this offensive assault. He is hot, and Vito is hotter. Look out. He may smell blood. Vito from behind. Got Whoa. him with the right hand. There's a wake-up call. And another one. That one was on the chin. Knocking out what's left of oh. Bigelow's teeth, and there goes those ribs into that guardrail. Oh, and Bigelow's had enough. Look you know, he fights back. Oh. Oh, and he just sent Vito into the safety rail, face first. Vito beak first into the cold, oh. hard steel. Wait a minute, watch these steel ring steps. Oh! Very unforgiving steel ring steps. And again, Vito this time head first into the steps. Wow, Vito, is Vito conscious? Is he moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's moving, barely. He's up to his knees at this point, and Bigelow looks confident as he sends him into the ring. I think Bam Bam feels that it's time to finish him off. It may be. Vito has been noticeably slowed. This is when Bigelow is his most dangerous. When the opponent is vulnerable, Bigelow, here it oh, Thought he was going for the greetings from Asbury Park, but just a full scoop slam. Bigelow bad-mouthing Vito, then the scoop and a slam, and oh. look at this. 400 pounds headed to the top. How many times do you see this? Good night. Call the air truck for the roll. That's probably why you don't see it very often. It's not that effective. It takes Bam Bam so long to get to the top. Vito, Vito. Oh, he recovered. 
series of rights to the jaw again that rocked Bigelow again. Huge Bigelow into the ropes, waits on it. Big close line from Big Vito. Quickly down, lateral presses it over to and no. Bigelow rolled his shoulder, but Vito quickly back into the ropes, gonna drop the leg across the face. Gonna try it beast. again. Quickly down, lateral press, bar leg, hook and no. Two and a half count for Vito. Did you notice when Vito goes for the pin, the absolute mass of the chest of Bam Bam Bigelow makes it very difficult for a 240 pounder like Vito to even make the cover. What a whip. Oh, oh standing sidekick, got him right in the chest. That'll take your breath away. Vito, duck the clothesline, Bam Bam doubles him up. One to the midsection. Yeah, not able to avoid that boot to the midsection and now Bigelow, very methodical in his efforts. No. And that may have hurt him as well because it was blocked once, blocked the second time by Vito. Vito blocked the suplex. He's, he's going to suplex now! I don't believe it! Unbelievable he, strength! They got him up in the air and took him over! Wow! I didn't know Vito had that in him! That's a deceptively powerful athlete. He suplexed 400 pounds of the beast! And judging by the reaction of Big oh. oh, I don't think he saw it coming and Big Vito certainly didn't see that. Bam Bam, I'm not sure that that was a plan or he just accidentally made contact with the top rope. Wait a oh, minute. Here we go. Vito's up. It's the greetings oh. from Asbury Park. Hello from the Garden State. It's academic and over. Bigelow wins it. And that was the victory that Bam Bam Bigelow was looking for. The opportunity to climb the ranks in WCW, and he attained it. The greetings from Asbury Park proves the difference in this heart bucket. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, hang on. Johnny the Bull. The tag team partner of Big Vito in the Mama Luke. Look at that coat. Johnny the... Wait a minute. Johnny! Look at him with the bat! Bigelow saw it! He didn't see it. Did he see him? I, I, he did! He ducked the baseball bat shot. That's a kendo stick. It is a kendo stick. Johnny the Bull trying to pull the swerve and got swerved by the beast. The beast, Bam Bam Bigelow, not only defeats Big Vito, but he also avoids the attack from Johnny the Bull. Looks like we might have a meeting of the minds here. Nope, we can't have that. It's Vito and Johnny the Bull in the ring. But good, suffice good to say, it's a meeting of the mama looks. Bigelow is your winner, but this war will continue. They're back. Well, that was just the latest chapter in the ongoing border war among residents of the states of New York and New Jersey. You know, it all started over the ownership of the Statue of Liberty. There's still heat over the fact that the New York Jets and the New York football giants play their games in New Jersey at the Meadowlands. And that matchup pitted Asbury Park, New Jersey resident Bam Bam Bigelow against Staten Island, New York's Big Vito. And we saw the return of Johnny the Bull as the former world tag team champions, the Mama Lukes, were reunited. The Mama Lukes back in the mix in the WCW tag team scene. Keep your eye out for the former champions over the next few months. Next week on this broadcast, what went down last Sunday night at Sin. We'll have complete results. All the historic news coming out of Indianapolis. We'll have it next week here. Picks, questions, exclusive action, it's all here. For Mike Tenet, I'm Scott Hudson. See you next week here on Worldwide.